Lord, in response to the last counter affidavit filed on behalf of the respondents, Lord, I am filing a reply. What is this here? Filed? Yeah. Lord, on the last date, they, they have filed an affidavit, Lord, saying that in terms of Rule 27.6 of the CCSCC rule, the de novo inquiry has been directed. I have filed a reply to that affidavit, Lord, that the IG has exercised his power under Rule 29D of the CRPF rules and not 27.6 of the CCSCC rules. And Rule 29D of the CRPF rules, Lord, only provides for further investigation and not de novo inquiry. Yeah, third response. Uh, your Lordships, uh, in compliance with your Lordships order dated 38.22, huh. your Lordships, uh, the DIG CRPF is here. Your Lordships, the uh, post of IG is uh, vacant at the moment. So being the next man, he has come, your Lordships. And uh, he, your Lordships, uh, so far as the query he made... Is a, he is a DIG? He is... Uh, he is the DIG administration CRPF, your Lordship. Uh, because he is the third respondent. He, the third respondent, your Lordship, is the Inspector General, huh. but uh, that post is vacant at the moment. Vacant? Yes. Huh. So he is come, he is uh, looking after the affairs at the moment, so he is come, your Lordship. Huh. Uh, your Lordship. Who, who has filed affidavit? Affidavit has been filed by him only. Huh, then ask him. Have they adopted the CCA as well as the CRPF for rules 1955? Your Lordships, uh, uh, rule 102 of the procedures. No, where is the adoption? Uh, the adoption. They have not adopted CCA rules. Uh, your Lordships? They have not adopted CCA rules. Of corresponding status. What is that? What so, is meant by that? Your Lordship, so whatever is not provided for in these rules, hmm. they go by the CCS rules. That charge, charge was framed under which rule? 29D, Your Lordship. 29? Charges D. framed? Yes. Huh? 27. No, while framing uh, charges, you are not mentioned, you have not cited the rule. Under rule 27 of CRPF rules, Your Lordship, mem memorandum of... Uh, Charge dated uh, January. Under Rule 27 of? The CRPF rules, Your Lordship. Where, where are the CRPF rules? CRPF rules 27. CRPF rules 27, Your Lordship's uh, procedure for the award of punishments. Discipline, Chapter 6. Chapter 6, Discipline. Procedure for the award of punishments, A, the punishments shown as item 1 to 11 in column 2 of the table below may be inflicted or Where not. Where is the appeal provision? Appeal, appeal provi rule 28 is there. Appeal is, uh, your Lordship, uh, rule 28. Uh, how can you resort now or jump to the CCA rules? Uh, your Lordship, when you have uh, everything is in these uh, rules. Your Lordship, because the... Uh, Insofar as the uh, initiation of inquiry you, against you know, the CRPF, Lordship, rule, 20, rule 29 is the revision under which this order has been passed. Your Lordship D, the Director General or Special Director General or the Additional Director General heading the zone or the Inspector General or the Deputy Inspector General may call for the records uh, of award of any pun happened. De novo, he ordered. Where, where is the provision for fresh inquiry? The, that he that they have taken from the uh, CCS rules. That can't be taken. That they have taken uh, under umbrage of uh, rule 102. No, no. That no. that is what they have done, your lordships. Uh, that is what they have done. I, I will not say the. Uh, which authority? G. Which authority has taken uh, invoke uh, rule 102 read with CCA rule? Uh, your lordship, that Inspector General. That is the Inspector General, your lordship. Huh? Inspector General. On what date? On date, date of the order. 12-9-2000, your lordships. 12-9-2000. Pundit 133 BNCRPF will in, initiate a deal. That is without authority of law. CCA rules are not applicable. Uh, your lordship, the wording is, uh, what he should have said was, that should, from the initial stage, he should have... Uh, Right, but there is no provision. Uh, your Lordships, uh, 
even uh, that you aside you have, mr council you can't have a peace mill one peace mill i will take from uh, uh, rules 1955 from uh, the date of initiation of enquiry till uh, revision while uh, passing uh, revision you switch over to cca rule how is it permissible your lordship uh, even in the crpf rules if the word de novo had not been there he could have said he could have said uh, no where is there that the power of uh, remanding the matter under uh, rule 29 further the... investigation you can do but uh, no question of de novo uh, the charges are the same you lordship huh? the charges are the same he has not changed the charges no that's all right uh, but you are permitted to only reinvestigate you lordship because in the earlier uh, uh, proceedings there had been some procedural mistake therefore he set aside the order of the dig uh, removal from service order was set aside the petitioner was reinstated in service and he said Can you do the inquiry of the later part is not uh, Uh, later part is without authority of law you lost it do whatever you want uh, limited to uh, rule 29 of uh, crpf rules you lost it then uh, i will only quash the later part and leave it you do uh, you uh, invoke 29 and uh, reinvestigate or do whatever you want but it should be within the frame of uh, rule 29 you and him 1998 allegation Point. all right sir after uh, these many decades you want to reinvestigate not reinvestigate from the stage of uh, providing the copy of the inquiry report from there no, they that, can that is not the issue from the revision you, in the revision you have already take, set aside the order and now you are ordered for re, uh, de novo inquiry your lordship uh, that is uh, 12 years back your lordship then uh, He is is 53 years of age. He is still in service. He is seven years left of in service. What is the charge? The allegation, my lord, the memo of charge. If your lordship will kindly come to the annexure 11 of my supplementary affidavit, my lord. What is the charge? I am asking you. My lord, the charge is that it is suspected that in a suitcase certain amount of ganja was recovered, and it is suspected that the petitioner was carrying that. All right. Let them have a reinvestigate. And will not this this this, this matter the, was this matter was investigated or investigated. All right, by sir. The, they, they, let them invoke Rule 29. Instant petition. Petitioner has prayed for the following relief. The petitioner was subjected to disciplinary proceedings. and charges were framed on 2 to 1998 while invoking rule 27 of central reserve police force rules comma 1955 within bracket for short rules 1955 sir you can sit sir the petitioner submitted his reply it was not satisfied by the disciplinary authority and proceeded to hold the inquiry the inquiring officer submitted a report to so based on the uh, report of the inquiring authority disciplinary authority proceeded to impose penalty of uh, withholding of uh, two increment with the cumulative effect on 22 to 1999 holding of two, two increment sir you have filed review or so motor they have taken? they have so motor review so motor review well the entire fact has been recorded by your lordship in lordship order dated 27th of july 2022 uh, so motor review was uh, undertaken by the official respondent while passing a order of removal from service on I'm sorry, you lost it. I thought it was order dated 12/9. And set aside. Read petition. Stand salute. Okay. You lost it. So given three months for corrigendum and.
three months for the corrigendum order for issuance of corrigendum whether reinvestigation is uh, necessary or not he, they have to examine only rule 29 of rules 1955 not yes. beyond that yes. and thereafter if uh, under the reinvestigation if you found that uh, departmental inquiry is there you can resort within complete within 6 months 6 months from then or 6 months from today from today yes. everything should be within 6 months yes.